You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Praise the Lord who ascends above the highest heavens. His majesty and might are in the skies. Alleluia. Welcome to the Notre Dame Sunday Liturgy of the Word for the Ascension of the Lord. This is Father Tom Denty, pastor of Notre Dame Church. You can visit our parish website, ndparishnc.com, for a live stream Mass on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. A hymn of glory let us sing New songs throughout the world shall ring Alleluia, Alleluia Christ by a road before untrod Ascends unto the throne of God Alleluia, 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 Alleluia You see Him now ascending high Up to the portals of the sky As we consider the ascension of the Lord, Jesus rising to the heavens, we also lift our prayers up to God. And we take a moment now to think about what it is we'd like to place before the Lord today. Our needs, the needs of those who are suffering, and the needs of the world. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ, your Son, is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God 
mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory and his inheritance among the holy ones. And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him his head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit our reading is taken from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord the eleven disciples went to galilee to the mountain to which jesus had ordered them when they saw him they worshiped but they doubted then jesus approached and said to them all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the most amazing mystics and theologians from modern times was a Jesuit priest named Teilhard de Chardin, Tehard, who lived in the early 20th century, was one of those people with his feet firmly planted in this world, but his mind soared with God. He was a paleontologist, 
who did groundbreaking work on the discovery of Peking Man in China, but he also wrote in a deeply spiritual way about the world around him. Tehard served as a stretcher bearer in World War I. The horrors of war opened up his mind to see the world from a divine perspective as he tried to make sense of the death and destruction around him. As he studied the earth, he saw God deeply present in the material world. He thought of evolution not only in a physical sense, but in a spiritual one as well. And that's where he coined the term the Omega Man. Omega Man was a reference to Jesus, who says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. By that he means he has been around forever, co-eternal with the Father. But Jesus is not only in our past, he is also in the future, Alpha and Omega. He is the promise and image of what we shall be. Many of the feasts that we celebrate about Jesus tend to look backwards to the things he did in human history. But today's Feast of the Ascension looks forward. Jesus goes ahead of us in both his resurrection and ascension. We are meant to follow Jesus, the Omega, as he makes a way for us. Jesus ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, we say in the Creed. He became one of us so that we could become one with him. Our goal and purpose in life is to rise with Christ and join him in heaven. But just as there are little resurrections in this life, maybe there are some ascensions too, to be lifted up to heaven even while we are still on earth. Are there not moments when we catch a glimpse of the divine, when the kingdom seems real here and now? I feel that even during this pandemic, when I see the healthcare workers entering hospitals at great personal risk to care for the sick, I witness it when I see funeral directors ministering to grieving families in great numbers. I see it when our parish comes together, even during social distancing, to donate food and meals for the hungry. I feel it when I get an email or a note from a parishioner or friend just checking in to see how we are doing. The better angels of our nature come forth. We act like ascended people when we live here on earth as if we are already in the kingdom. Like the body of Christ that we have been baptized into, we are a little Alpha and Omega too called to live the salvation history of the past and walk with Jesus into a bold new future. Is it a coincidence that, just as the sad things of World War I inspired Tehard, so too do the sad things of this pandemic inspire us? I don't think so. Crisis brings out the best and worst in humanity. Just as we have seen people trying to take advantage of this difficult time for their own selfish needs, we have also seen the very greatest among us rise to the occasion of selflessness in their giving to others. May the loss of so much life and the fears and anxieties of so many not be given in vain. May we look to the best of the human response around us and in us to open our eyes to the deep abiding presence of God among us, that loving presence of good even among evil, giving despite personal fear. That is a taste of the future kingdom, of the omega, of what it means to be ascended with Christ.
Jesus rose to the heavens, but we still have to make our way on earth, and that includes covering expenses. If you are able to make a contribution to Notre Dame, it would be much appreciated. If you are unable to give at this time, we certainly understand. To donate, you can use the link below. Thank you. During this month of May, let's pray together the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Easter, the Ascension, and Pentecost are the hinge feasts of the Easter season. So thank you for taking the time to participate in our Sunday Liturgy of the Word for the Ascension of the Lord. Stay safe, keep the faith, and check our website regularly for updates and videos. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day, His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is. Amen. Amen. May he grant that, as Christ, after his resurrection, was seen plainly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, he may show himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Grace, we will rise up with Him.